And let's start off with that. Because last time you were here, you're saying that Akon City was supposed to open in 2026. Yeah. But then COVID hit and... Right. So where is Akon City at right now? Um, we're actually, we're still on track. Alun Damalo Badara Akon Theum, famously known as Akon, has given up on his previous music career to pursue bigger dreams in entrepreneurship. I guess the music industry just wasn't cutting it. As of recent, he's transitioned to projects in Africa based around technology and solar power, but there's not much transparency surrounding his work. But don't be fooled, I'm sure we're in good hands. After all, we're talking about Akon here, and he has big plans for the future. In a genuinely devised plan, or a midlife crisis as I would describe it, Akon is building his very own city known as Akon City, which is estimated to cost north of $6 billion. To be honest, I'm just surprised Kanye didn't beat him to it first. Akon chose his homeland, Senegal, as the land to erect his wondrous new city, which has led many to compare it to Dubai or the African fantasy city, Wakanda. I bet you would too if you saw the promotional video posted two years ago. Wow! Look at this! Honestly, this looks pretty dope. I would live here. Is this the new roller coaster tycoon? These aren't even buildings, though. What are these structures? Are we capable of creating these? Oh, thank God. It's only 100 kilometers away from Dakar. I was getting worried. Bro, the buildings look like intestines. Akon must have played one game of Halo Wars as the Covenant. And this was his semen-induced fever dream. Who does he think he is, bending the laws of space and time itself? I just realized, bottom left corner, we have bad consultant. That gives me hope. Listen, if he can pull this off, all the more power to him. Yeah, I'm buying a ticket to Akon City. However, something tells me that we're not quite there yet. I don't know, it's just this small little inkling, this voice in my head. All right, we get the point. But I mean, talk about an engineer's nightmare. It's like I'm watching a futuristic Sims trailer. It's like an art student's senior thesis. There's no way anyone actually thought it would look like this, right? I mean, it looks great if you're into accordion architecture and Pappardelle noodle buildings. It looks like stacks of dirty laundry plopped on top of each other. But hey, it's a trailer. We gotta see more. If we go to the website, aconcity.com, menu. They got this nice districts tab, right? Let's see here. We got African Culture Village, Offices and Residential, Entertainment District, Health and Safety, Education District, Technology District, and the Senawood District. Apparently, Akon Tower is in the Senawood District. And if you couldn't guess already, you can grab a beer at the Akon Club. Maybe even get grinded on by Akon himself. I mean, we gotta check out the African Culture Village. Pretty sleek website design, gotta hand it to him, man. So here's like the main hub of Akon City, right? And then conveniently connected to it is the African Culture Village by this land bridge, except it looks like there's some holes. You might wanna get that patched up. The last thing you want is residents of Akon City falling into the abyss while they're just trying to learn some history. And then above it, we can't even click on this zone. Maybe we haven't progressed far enough in the Akon City Battle Pass, or maybe we gotta reach a higher level. I'm curious, what's going on up here? The last thing I wanna find out is that this is where the blood sacrifices happen after I bought my virtual ticket. According to Akon City, all phases of construction will be done in 2029. There are two phases in total. Supposedly, phase one of Akon City should be finished relatively soon by 2026, allowing thousands of tourists to come and relax, see the sights, eat some food, and vibe out. They intend to have roads, hotels, malls, a hospital, police station, school, waste facility, and a solar power plant all finished by 2026, which is interesting because that's quite a lot to understand undertake in three years. And phase two, the final phase, 
is set to be done by 2029. It's assumed that this phase would include housing, offices, maybe some restaurants, more amenities, and of course, they also have a hair treatment center, which is why today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. They offer clinically proven treatments that help combat the symptoms of hair loss. Best of all, all of Keeps treatments are personalized, tailored to fit your needs and they're sent right to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave your house. Two out of three guys will experience hair loss before the age of 35, but have no fear. Keeps has you covered. Keeps offers clinically proven research-backed treatments that stop hair loss and improve hair growth. Every Keeps treatment plan comes with one year of unlimited messaging, so you can talk with your medical provider about anything, anytime. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps offers an award-winning, all natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. You can also subscribe to Keeps and get refill reminders so you never run low on the products you need to take the best care of your hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash Philion, or just click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Philion. And thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Now let's jump back to Akon City. Akon City plans on utilizing a smart city approach. Smart cities use a combination of the internet of things. Kinda sounds like a load of barnacles to me. But let's take into account the I'm allergic to basic shirt combined with the Iron Man UI that this woman is using. You know what? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's learn more. I want to know what a smart city is. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> It's surprising that the Senegalese government is even on board with this, guaranteeing the city will bring in tourists and investors, and giving all those that go tax breaks. Doesn't sound all too bad after all. And this whole Akon City fiasco became such a big deal that there are even plans to create a second Akon City in Uganda. However, there was just one problem that no one saw coming. C-19. This halted production for a bit, and Akon at one point blamed C-19 for pushing everything back. However, later he contradicted himself, saying that things were actually on track. Okay, so let's get this straight. Akon City, the one in Senegal, is supposed to be finished in three years, well, at least phase one, in 2026. No delays, no problems. There should at least be something complete, right? Maybe a crew, some scaffolding, how about some orange cones? Uh, no. How about a single stone? The following clips are from YouTube channel TD Hip Hop Media on their video, Akon City, Senegal is in shambles, nothing but dust. Let's go to a year later in 2022. Oh man, God damn. <laughs> is dust with cinder blocks why they got the cinder blocks over there i think somebody was low-key hating they just put the cinder blocks there just to be bogus <laughs> what i'm going to show you right now is a current photo of akon city okay boom what happened akon what happened they even stole the cinder blocks they said well let me put these cinder blocks to good use right quick because <laughs> akon city ain't popping anytime soon this is horrible my goodness so akon placed a single minecraft block and walked away job done funny enough in a bbc news article akon admitted to wanting to retire here he even went on to say i don't like to use the word king of the city but that's what it will turn out to be. I mean, the place is called Akon City, what did anyone expect? And I'm starting to think I was right about this being a narcissist's midlife crisis. The icing on the cake is the fact that Akon believes the central currency of his city, wait for it, should be his own cryptocurrency, Acoin. And the whole thing is gonna be run off Acoin? That's one well, the, the cryptocurrency? The, yeah, the cryptocurrency, Acoin. You could say the, the city's uh, financial infrastructure would be built off the Acoin platform. Yeah. But the controversy doesn't end here. Acon took full responsibility for the poorly managed start to his city, but that didn't save him. People sometimes will write articles about, oh, this is not what's going to happen. Something like this could never happen in Africa. It's been two years. The construction hasn't started. I hear that all the time. We're building a city. You don't build a city in 24 hours. 
Like, they literally is, say Rome was not built in a day. <laughs> but if you don't have the knowledge to understand that you have to do feasibility studies, you have to do environmental studies, like it's all kind of studies just before you put a building that's going to be 120 feet in the air in one sweat. So what? what makes you think that area right there could even hold that kind of weight? It takes research for that. And all that has to be done first before you can even think to even create a master plan for construction. But if you don't know that, you think it's just all talk and trash and marketing. A previous business partner accused Akon of planning to run his city like a Ponzi scheme. These accusations were made by Devin Stevens, a music executive in the United States who filed a $4 million lawsuit against Akon and requested a court to freeze Akon's assets. Stevens' lawyer described Akon City as, quote, broken promises with almost no transparency about who is investing or how it will be purportedly built. Therefore, Akon City is likely a scam. If you don't believe a U.S. attorney, then maybe you'll believe a retired federal agent, Scott Thomason, who investigated Akon City. He concluded that the city contained, quote, many of the trademark characteristics or red flags of fraudulent business ventures, such as Ponzi and pyramid schemes. Akon's defense is that, all of this is speculation or innuendo, but I think the single slab of stone says otherwise. If we use our friend Google Maps, there actually is a place called Akon City in Senegal. However, it's 80 miles north of where it's actually, supposedly, being built. Somewhere in the middle of this arid desert is a single block of greatness where civilization will thrive. You know, it could be this one. Could be this one, it's anyone's game. You know what, maybe we're being too harsh. Maybe it's up north by this failed rendition of an isosceles triangle, except it's not by the water like the trailer indicated, and this appears to be a salt mine or something. <laughs> the only problem with these pictures are that this is not in the middle of the desert where the brick was placed. And something tells me they look a little different than the concept art. It's really a shame because it calls into question the other projects that Akon is affiliated with that have supposedly helped African communities. For example, Akon Lighting Africa, which helped provide areas with electricity. In order to really understand Akon City, we need to learn about its monarch. I present to you the Joe Budden Podcast, where most recently Akon had this to say about men and women. The yes. man is yes. who yes. create life. Every time I say it, they laugh at me. Man, we're gods. We the ones that create life. No, to women, I'm saying. Just conversation. Right. I just said it to you so, the other day. And let me, me. let me give you an, uh, an example of the science of it. A man right now can create life without a woman, but a woman can't create life without a man. If I wanted to create life right now without a woman, I would just shoot my sperm, put it in an incubator, and just cool. give it nine months, even maybe less with today's science, and a, a baby will be born. A woman can't do that. And we are the creators of life in actuality. Can I lose any more brain cells? At this point, Akon's digging his own grave. And only time will tell if Akon City will actually be completed. I am, however, sure as shit it won't look anything like we saw on the website. That is some wishful thinking. And of course, let's not forget about the bow on top the fact that you need to use his own cryptocurrency in order to presumably live there. And if you don't, Akon himself will teach you a lesson. Akon, my words of advice are simple. Maybe next time you'll spend less on concept art and more in reality. This world has too many credulous people as is. Scams are everywhere. And if something looks too good to be true, it usually is. A nostalgic A or B list celebrity mixed with making tons of money is the perfect combination for a scam. For anyone that did give money to Akon for his city, I hope you enjoy your stay. And he wasn't lying when he said it would be a once in a lifetime opportunity.